Okay, we're about to create a valve with special end conditions. So we start off by opening up our project. Once that's opened, we can go ahead and open our catalog. With our catalog open, we'll path to our component, which would be a valve, ball valve, and then we'll find a comparable uh, data table that already exists. The 800 pound is fine for what we're doing on this example. Let's go ahead and click that. You can copy it here. It'll automatically produce another data table at the bottom. We're going to rename this to ball valve socket weld by threaded and 6,000 pound. Okay. You also want to carry that over to the description. Okay. With that done, you can go ahead and open up the data table by double clicking it. This will show you the build data that you are going to have for when it generates it in the model. To make it so that the end conditions are unique, you come down to the summary, the properties pane, and you're going to click on apply same end types to all ends. You're going to say false since they're going to be different. Come over here. I'm switching my first endpoint to socket weld 6000, threaded 6000. So they're both now uh, socket weld by threaded 6000 pound each. Um, since I won't be changing any of the build data since the length will be the same, so we can go ahead and click save on that and save on this. So the project is, the configuration is now saved. Okay, I'm back at my spec. It prompts me, do I want to reload from the base catalog? Yes. You want to update the project from the base catalog? Yes. Okay. With those both done, I can double click my spec, come into valves, and I can click add. I'll pick the type, ball valve, pick the data table I just built, the 6,000 pound, it automatically brings in the sizes that are available for that data table. And then I can build my long description. Ball valve. And we'll say class 150 for this point. Class 3000, actually. Side of the world by threaded. ASTMA105, just for the point of this preview. Um, you can leave this as spec schedule if you have these set up. If not, you can be explicit. Um, in this case, they're both going to be extra, extra strong. And we don't have a material table set up, so we'll leave it blank. Go ahead and click Add. Now we have our component in our spec. Go ahead and save, save, then open up a plant session. If you already have it open, reload your spec. You should see ball valve, socket roll by threaded. And if you double click that, it should show in the isometrics, one side socket weld and one side is screwed, which is threaded. You have now completed making a valve with special end types.